We are at the moment at the Bono Research Station um, in Sweden, in the Gullmar Fjord. How would you describe yourself in your own words? Well, uh, I'm now working since 53 years in science, so uh, I, I'm really attached to solving problems, putting questions, and um, in, in terms of science, and that has a, somehow attached to me that that uh, ocean and the sea is something very important. Um, when I finished my studies as a student, uh, I could as well have gone into nuclear research, as many of my my friends did, but uh, it never uh, draw me to that direction, and uh, so I was quite happy that I found this place doing science in the environmental area as a physicist. You are standing in this beautiful field and you can see the research station uh, behind you, that's the yeah. Bono research station, yeah. and it has a lot of history. So uh, what is the, could you say something about the importance and relevance of the Bono research station? Um, Bono was, was built in 1902, I think, by uh, two scientists, uh, Otto Patterson and Gustav Ekman. But it was a response on, interna on an international scene because in the same year uh, the ITES, International Council of Exploration of the Sea, was founded. Uh, and it was founded uh, mainly uh, by the northern countries, also Germany was a founding member. And the, uh, the idea was to get uh, data sets from the ocean, uh, from the North Atlantic, but also Baltic and uh, North Sea, and, uh, to, to bring together the physical oceanography and the marine biology. Uh, of course, a major, a major interest was in understanding the relation between, uh, say, temperature, salinity, uh, ocean currents, and uh, and fish, and so it was uh, founded also as a support for the fisheries uh, industry, yeah. and, uh, and many of the um, um, well-known uh, book writers and uh, scientists in uh, in oceanography were here, like uh, George Romulus and uh, Petlowski, for instance. We are all interested in the overturning circulation of the ocean and how it works. And there's a fundamental theorem called uh, nowadays Sandström's uh, theorem, actually. Sandström um, was a Swedish oceanographer who did his lab experiments here on Borneo Station. And he proved experimentally as, as well as theoretically that you need mixing in the ocean to get an overturning, uh, a large scale overturning together. Uh, there's no no overturning if you heat the ocean just on the on the poles and uh, uh, cool them on the poles and heat them on the equator at the same uh, sea level. There, nothing would happen. No, nothing substantial would happen. You need for a deep overturning. You need uh, you need mixing or you need uh, 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 thermal and processes uh, overturning the water in, 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 in deeper in deeper levels. This is the Sandström theory. It was discovered here. I think internal gravity waves were discovered back in the 19th century, from well before Borneo was uh, was built. And then, um, actually, um, it's um, in reference to the explorer Nansen, who, uh, with his ship Fram, around 1900, was uh, in the Arctic Ocean, and he uh, uh, occurred. Uh, to the phenomenon of dead water. Uh, his ship, there was full sails, uh, full power, but it doesn't move. And so he noticed that there was a layer of fresh water over salty water, and uh, he called this uh, phenomenon dead water. So in that dead water, the, the uh, ship would not move. And it was quite after the expedition explained uh, very neatly by, by uh, uh, Walfred Ekman. In a, in a paper, uh, an encounter to uh, internal gravity waves. The ship was generating on the interface um, internal gravity waves. So all the momentum the ship got went into the uh, 
uh, motion of the internal gravity waves and the ship didn't move. I think this was uh, the first, uh, first really uh, experimental and uh, theoretical notion of internal gravity waves. And I think after the station here in Borneo has built, it was around 1902 or so, uh, they uh, observed of course uh, tides and probably also internal tides here at the, at the station. Um, uh, so it is said that internal gravity rays were also found or discovered here. But I guess uh, they actually were really found earlier. 